Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about critter trails and also just small hamster cages in general. I think it's something that's really important that I wanted to talk about my channel because so many people put their hamsters in small hamster cages and it makes me so upset because it's just so wrong and I don't want anyone to take this as a personal attack. I'm completely aware that this is something that most people do without being aware that it's not right. So hopefully this will help educate some people and get some people to change what they are doing with their hamsters. But overall, I wanted to talk about the Critter Trail because the Critter Trail is a really, really popular hamster cage. It's made by KT and they sell them, I'm pretty sure, at PetSmart, Petco, wherever you're gonna buy a hamster. They probably sell a critter trail like this or one of the other critter trail cages because they come in all different shapes and sizes and everything. So yeah, this is just like a standard critter trail cage. So the number one issue with critter trails and also 99% of hamster cages that are marketed for hamsters is that they are way too small. This hamster cage here, which again is just like your basic critter trail, is about 168 square inches. The absolute bare minimum for hamsters is supposed to be around 450 square inches, so this is what most people who keep hamsters consider to be the absolute bare minimum. However, the recommended is usually around 650 square inches, so the bare minimum is pretty much there just to say this is the absolute smallest thing you should possibly ever keep your hamster in for it to be somewhat okay. But most people would recommend giving your hamster even more than that because the bigger the better. Hamsters do love to explore. They really benefit from having a lot of toys and enrichment and different things in their cages. So keeping them in a really small cage like this one, is just not gonna do. So like I said, this small critter trail that I have next to me is 168 square inches. The bare minimum is considered 450 square inches and the recommended is 650. The number one issue here is that critter trails are way too small. And this goes for pretty much all of the critter trail cages. Like I said, critter trail has a huge line of all these different cages that have multiple levels and different shapes and different attachments and add-ons and you can add all these different tubes and you can like connect the cages together. But none of that really matters because the minimum square inch requirement for a hamster is supposed to be the overall floor space on one level. It needs to be space that your hamster can run from one side of the cage to the other. That's what the square inch requirement is. So one level of uninterrupted space in your hamster cage needs to fit at least the minimum cage requirement. So when they come out with hamster cages with all these different levels and attachments and tubes and all this stuff, none of that really matters or counts at all towards the square inch requirement. So Critter Trail has been around for a really, really long time, but within the past, I think, one or two years, they have come out with a Super Critter Trail Habitat, I believe it's called. The Critter Trail Super Habitat is 540 square inches, which falls right in between the minimum and the recommended square inch cage size. So there is one Critter Trail that is okay for hamsters. It's still above minimum, it's below the recommended, but it's still much better for Critter Trail. Good for them overall, honestly. So if you're gonna get a Critter Trail, get the Critter Trail super. But also keep in mind that that is still a little bit below the recommended square inch for hamsters. I personally wouldn't keep a hamster in anything smaller than the 650 square inches that is recommended by most people. So the 650 square inch requirement adds up to being about a 40 gallon breeder, which is what I have my hamster in. And you can actually see it behind me here, but I'll do close ups of my hamster cage. So th again, that's a 40 gallon breeder tank, which is about 650 square inches, which is the recommended size for a hamster. 
And what's really nice about this is it's a big open floor space. There's a lot of room to add multiple inches of bedding. So that's another thing that you can't really get out of one of these is that most people recommend having areas of the cage that have like five or six inches of bedding so that your hamster can properly burrow and, you know, make tunnels in the bedding. But with this cage, there's about three inches at the bottom, which just isn't a whole lot of room to give your hamster to burrow. And burrowing is a really important thing for a hamster to do because it's natural instinct for them in the wild, they burrow. So in captivity, you also wanna give them space to burrow. And for anyone out there who thinks that I am crazy for telling you to not use one of these, keep in mind that there are a lot of people out there who think that my hamster cage is also too small for hamsters. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like they're crazy because at the end of the day, the bigger, the better for hamsters. Like the more room you can give them, the better. But at the end of the day, in America, we just don't have very high pet care standards compared to a lot of other countries. So I know like over in Europe and especially in Germany, they have really, really high standards for hamster care, which is amazing. They take wonderful care of their animals over there. And America just needs to step it up. This is a piece of garbage. Basically, people buy this for their hamsters, and I'm not really sure why, because it looks more like a cheap toy than it is a hamster cage. And if you want a cheap toy, then don't get a living animal. If you want a decoration, don't get an animal. <laughs> and what also blows my mind about this is that this is like 30 bucks. And for $30, you could set up so much bigger and better of a hamster cage. Um, so like I mentioned, 40 gallon breeder tank is a wonderful thing to get for a hamster. They are a bit more expensive. Petco has a dollar per gallon sale where you can get a 40 gallon breeder for $40. So for 10 extra dollars, you're getting a cage that's like four or five times the size and actually good for your animal. And aside from that, if you don't actually want to get a glass tank, another wonderful option is bin cages. It's literally just a plastic tub that you can get at Walmart for probably like five or ten bucks. And you can turn it into a hamster cage and it gives your hamster so much room and it's so customizable. And there's so many like videos and forums and stuff online where people give you wonderful ideas on how to turn a bin into a wonderful hamster cage. And not only is it going to be really good for your hamster, but it's a lot cheaper than actually buying one of these cheap pieces of garbage and then, you know, buying all the accessories for this and all that, it adds up. I'm very hesitant to call this a hamster cage, even though that's technically what it is. It's more like a little prison. This would be an okay travel cage for your hamster, like if you wanna pop him in here for like trips to the vet or something, then by all means, this is going to be an expensive travel cage, but go for it. But please do not house your hamster in this permanently. It's not going to be happy. And I also know there's so many people out there who are gonna be like, oh, but guess what? I have my hamster in a critter trail and he's fine. He's healthy. He hasn't died yet. And that's not a very solid argument. And if you don't trust me and you think I'm just an idiot, then I would definitely encourage you to just do some research, go on some hamster forums. And what also angers me a ton is that pet store employees are going to sell you this oftentimes and tell you that this is okay for your hamster. And I don't want to bag on pet store employees by any means because nobody is intentionally trying to get you to do something terrible for your animal. But at the end of the day, a lot of pet store employees don't know what is good and what is bad for a hamster. They're just told that, you know, if you sell a hamster, make sure they buy a critter trail with it and they just do what they're told. I would definitely encourage you to listen to experienced hamster owners as opposed to a pet store employee who has maybe never owned a hamster or never done a ton of research because it isn't really their job to teach you what to buy for your animal and how to take care of it. It's your job as 
a pet owner to do that research before even going to the store and getting that animal. So yeah, that's why critter trails suck. I definitely encourage you if you're currently using a critter trail or another small hamster cage to definitely give your hamster an upgrade because they deserve more than this. So if you don't want to give your hamster more than this, don't get a hamster. I don't know, go to Toys R Us and spend the $30 on something else. Like, I don't know what to tell you. There isn't really any animal I would recommend keeping in this. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Let me know your opinions down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys use for your hamsters and different, you know, bin cage ideas or different things that you use. So make sure to leave that in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on all my social media links and my vlog channel. Those will be linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video.